In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at the application deployment functionality of TC Server, and we're going to deploy an application to a group of servers. We're here starting on the dashboard of the vFabric Hyperic server, and you can see that we have a number of TC Server instances installed on this particular platform. We're going to go into the group here. When we drill it on the group, we can see the members of the group. We can see their availability, and we can see their performance metrics running across the timeline. To continue this use case, we'll switch to the View tab and drill into Application Management, and we can see the applications that are currently running. Again, we're in the group context here, so we're talking about multiple servers. If users were actively using these applications, we'd also be able to see the session count here. We have two use cases for deploying applications, called Local Machine and Server Machine. If we were to deploy from the local machine, we would browse and grab the WAR file from the box where we're driving the browser session. So, for example, if we were a developer working from home, connected to work via VPN, we can browse, get the WAR file from our local box, push it through the VPN, and get it deployed onto the TC servers at work without having to log on to the shell of the machines, so we don't need writes on those particular boxes. And in this case, we're going to provide a path to the WAR file that is relative to the TC server instances. So, as long as you have a shared drive location or a network mount, you only need to put the WAR file into one place, and you can then push that WAR file out to each of the TC server instances in the group or cluster and have it deployed simultaneously. Paste in the file path to where the WAR file is located and then hit Deploy. While it's deploying, Notice that we can use a hot or cold deployment strategy. We're seeing active status of the deployment. It usually takes roughly 10 to 12 seconds to deploy this particular application. We can see now that the application is listed as running on both servers. If we click for a little more detail, we can see the application was successful and deployed to both members of the group. Now let's take a look and verify that that application is up and running. We'll click on the Browser tab and go to the application. We want to make sure that the application is up and running. There's a built-in database behind this app, and we want to make sure it's functioning as well. On the other browser, we want to verify that the application is up and running and verify that the built-in Java database is actually functioning. So, now we're convinced that the application is up and running, but we also want to emphasize that while we did this application verification manually, Hyperic can also verify that pages are up and to report their response times, which gives administrators of TC Server the ability to not only deploy applications and measure internal performance, but also to measure response time and SLA performance from the outside. Let's look at another area of functionality. We used the browser to deploy this application. Let's use our command line interface to undeploy it. Here in the DOS window, we have a small set of scripts that we've created. They're very simple to create. The first script we're going to run lists apps currently running in the group. When we enter this, you can see here that we have deployed the booking application. What we want to do is to use the command line to undeploy this application. You can see that the way these command lines are constructed is very simple. There's the TCS admin command, the undeploy application subcommand, and then a couple of parameters indicating which app we want to undeploy and where the Hyperic server is. Now, let's verify and see if the applications are listed as running. We should see that they are no longer listed as running. Now, we just have the root application running. Let's come back to our browser interface and refresh. We should see that the application has been successfully undeployed. This has been a basic introduction to the way you deploy and undeploy WAR files or push updates to WAR files that are currently deployed using both the browser and the command line interface.